we've got the money together, we're going to head with the, the new visitor centre in time for the 700th anniversary in, uh, in 2014. And I've got the kids from Borstone Primary, we are better, who've been advising the, the experts on how they're going to do the visitor centre, what's going to appeal to folk, what's interactive. Basically, you're going to be able to walk through the battle. So there's a, a 3D immersion, visualisation that you'll be able to walk through the battle. As well as looking at the tactics, maybe even changing the result. I don't think we'll allow that, necessarily. but you'll be able to walk through the battle. It's going to be amazing. The centre will give us a fantastic opportunity to showcase the events of the 23rd and 24th of June 1314 uh, and uh, commemorate and celebrate one of the most important battles on Scottish soil. And we're going to be doing that in a fantastically innovative, exciting and engaging way. Um, you will be able to come face to face with particip participants in the battle. You'll find out about the weaponry, the tactics and also about the people, why they, were they were there, why were they fighting, and how they felt about the battle. You'll also be able to uh, participate in the battle through a strategy uh, reenactment. Um, so can you win the Battle of Bannockburn? Can you lose the Battle of Bannockburn? Uh, you'll be able to try that out, uh, and then we will actually show you how we believe the actual events of the day took place. So fantastic, cutting-edge technology, but essentially it's telling the story of the events of 1314. I mean, I think the design looks fantastic. Mind you, designs always look fantastic, but I think this one will be fantastic. You know, we've got a lot of success just now in the, you know, the new National Museum, the, the Burns Museum, the Great Riverside Museum, the Glasgow Project. Uh, there could be a Victorian Albert uh, Museum in Dundee in the, in the River Tay, the new National Portrait Gallery, and they're all being hugely successful. We're kind of redefining and renewing Scotland's heritage uh, and it's paying off big style. I mean there's been a million folk in the City National Museum in Scotland. A million people. Mm -hmm. That's absolutely incredible. And I'm sure the, the Bannockburn, the new Bannockburn Centre will be just as successful. And I think, you know, walking through the battle <laughs> it sounds to me pretty compelling. We're actually today going out to tender for the main building works and we hope to start work on the new building towards the end of May. Uh, and then it'll be just over a year's construction. Uh, we would hope to have a a soft opening, as we'll call it, early in uh, 2014, building up to our celebrations and our launch event and a great big reenactment in June 2014. So again, the invitation's there, get ready, be prepared, it's going to be fantastic.